Alrighty guys, so I just recently got the uh, bus bar set up there and also the bus bar enclosure. Those are the, uh, the two items in case you want to get some for yourself. Um, right now what I'm doing though is I'm adding the positive battery cable on here. So I've cut my first piece, I've got the first piece crimped on there. I've got a piece of the heat shrink. It's the marine grade heat shrink where it has the glue on the underside. I'm getting ready to add the other piece, so I figured I'd just kind of give you a quick show and tell anyways, let you know where I'm at, and getting ready to put the other battery terminal on there. Um, using the uh, Temco crimper, Klein cutters down there. Sorry, the light is like just under the camera. Alrighty guys, so one big complaint about uh, the uh, GoPower inverter here is how close together the uh, both the uh, the positive and negative um, terminals are on the unit. So if, if you pay attention, you read the instructions and there is also a really good video, the gentleman shows himself hooking up the uh, positive lead and the negative lead, but you connect them together before you hook it up to the batteries. Um, and then it's got these nice little plastic shields so that you don't have to worry about anything touching together. So when we do the uh, negative, it'll be over here, uh, but obviously what we'll run the line first and get that going We'll get the individual units attached to the inverter prior to hooking that up to the batteries. That way we don't ever have to worry about any um, inadvertent uh, touching the positive and the negative together and uh, frying batteries, frying inverters and anything. Alrighty guys, so we've got the uh, positive cable into the bus bar. Um, got the bus bar all closed up, looking good over there. And then also I was able to add um, the first couple ground wires. So that's grounding the inverter as well as the charge controller. So right now I just have it run to a common bus bar and it's not technically grounded yet because I don't have it run to the outside where my uh, ground rod is. Um, that will come eventually. I'll let you take a look at that and then the, uh, the jumpers there connecting those together. Um, so making some progress, getting there, it's taking time. Alrighty guys, so I got a little bit further yet and uh, you know, from the uh, positive side bus bar coming down, I went ahead and I've got the, uh, so the uh, fuse attached is a 300 amp ANL. Um, again, over here is the uh, ground setup that we're working on getting complete. Um, so the next step is going to be taking uh, the ANL fuse and attaching it here to the switch, which will then um, be on top of the battery box somewhere, somewhere in here. Not exactly sure where I'm going to attach that thing. Um, when I do, I'll definitely toss a video up showing you guys that. But uh, there's where we're at so far. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.